And more signs today of the changes to our everyday lives. Now parts of some parks are being cordoned off and shut down. This was Ray Preston continues our live team coverage tonight in South St. Louis at Francis Park. Well, Francis Park is is open. I mean, people are walking around the park. They're riding their bikes. They're walking their dogs. You look behind me here. You can see there's some people playing on the tennis court. But come on over this way and check this out. See, it says playground temporarily closed. As we look over here, you see yellow police tape around the playground equipment. That's not caution tape. That is actually yellow police tape. Also, if you go across the river to the other side, you'll see some of these signs popping up in Illinois parks as well. At Joe Glick Park in Edwardsville, yellow closed until further notice signs are up. The playground is taped off. Lauren Taplin came out to get some exercise. I was a little bit worried that the trails would be closed, but they're not, thankfully. Um, just the playground in the pavilions so everyone can keep a safe social distance. Dogs on the path may not have been abiding by the six foot social distancing guideline, but their owners were. Stephanie Felderworth brought her two daughters out. When we got here, we knew that the playground would be closed and that the, um, the pavilions would be uh, marked off and everything, but that the bike path would be open. She's a nurse and says although the vast majority of COVID-19 cases in Illinois are in the Chicago area, she still agrees with putting restrictions in place and social distancing. Well, I'm pretty all about keeping the social distance right now, keeping us safe, keeping the family safe, keeping everyone else um, as safe as you possibly can. Thursday afternoon, News 4 flew over the football field at St. Mary's High School in South St. Louis. People were playing soccer. In St. Louis County, police say people are doing a good job overall at social distancing, but say some people are disregarding the guidelines, which could lead to unnecessarily spreading COVID-19. You have to give one another space. We have to use common sense and good decision making. Now we asked Grando what he would say to those who are disregarding the social distancing or the stay at home guidelines. He said they're either being selfish or foolish or both because he says they don't realize that they're putting themselves and their loved ones at risk. Reporting live in South St. Louis, Ray Preston News 4.